What is up my bodyweight warriors and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a follow along pike flexibility routine. The full routine will be available in a PDF in the description down below so make sure you go check it out if you want an offline version. Other than that we're going to jump straight into the follow along. Right, so we're gonna start this routine sat in a seated position, our legs up, feet apart, and we're gonna start with some hip swivels like we have in all of the other routines. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop our legs to the left-hand side, one knee comes in, twist, lean over a little bit, get a nice little stretch in the glute, come back, twist again to the other side. We're gonna repeat this for a total of 10 repetitions. And I know you may be saying that, Tom, this isn't stretching our hamstrings. No, nope, you're quite right, it isn't. It's gonna be stretching our glutes. But what can happen is there can be a limitation for our hamstrings in the glute area, especially to do the sciatic nerve, to do the piriformis. All of these muscles, they can be connected. So we're just gonna work on warming these up as we work into the routine. So we're gonna continue. Uh, I've lost count already. It's not a good start. I think we're on six. Seven, eight. Last one on this side, and on the last one, we're just going to bring our foot out and we're going to sit down and we're going to go into a little bit of a 90 90 stretch on our glutes. So I'm just going to lean over that front leg, try to think about getting my sternum over my knee, and don't round the back. Try to like lift the chest and just push the hips forward. Should feel a nice stretch in the glutes. We can do here, we can do a little couple of reps of PNF. So we're gonna press our knee into the ground, try to engage our glute, breathe out, go a little bit deeper. Do it again, so breathe in, press the knee into the ground, breathe out, sink a little bit deeper. So that's that side done. We're swap to the other side. So again, 90-90, front leg out at 90 degrees. Lean that sternum over the front leg. And we're gonna try Hold for a few seconds, and we're gonna do some PNF. So you're gonna press the knee into the ground, contract the glute. Breathe out, sink a little bit deeper. Press the knee in, breathe in. Breathe out, sink a little bit deeper. Right, so that is our glutes, nice and loosey-goosey. We're gonna flip onto our back. And we're gonna work on one of the other limiting factors and that is the sciatic nerve. So we're gonna grab our right leg, both hands around the base of the knee. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend our leg with our foot flexed. And then we're gonna point the toe and then come back down. We're gonna do 15 of these. So feet flexed, point the toes as much as you can, then point the toes and come back down. So what this is gonna do is gonna help floss our sciatic nerve. Now the sciatic nerve runs all the way down the back of your leg into your big toe and it can play up and it can affect your hamstring flexibility. So I'm gonna use this to help work and mobilize it a little bit. It's called flossing the sighting nerve. So we're on six here. You can do these as much as you like. Get a bit of a pump going in the quad as well after leg days. Nine. 10. Flex maximally as you come up, then point, so flex. It should feel like kind of a weird stretching sensation. It should be maybe a little bit more intense. If you can't straighten your leg the whole way, just bring the knee further away from you. And will make the stretch a little bit lighter. Last one, point. Just gonna relax, let it drop. I'm gonna swap sides. So we're gonna grab the left leg, bring it up to us, and then we're gonna flex the foot, extend the leg as far as you can, point the toe, come back down. This uh, sciatic nerve floss is also something that is in my beginner hamstring flexibility routine, which is not a follow along, but it is a very effective routine, um, something that's done twice a week. And I think it's probably gonna be more effective than this routine, just because it uses the power of loaded stretching. Um, so if you wanna check that out, I'll link that in the description down below. But for those of you who like follow alongs, you did request them, so here they are. I think we're on 10 now. So we're gonna see if we do five more. Last one, really flex the foot, extend as far as you can, and flip around. Okay, from here, 
sit back up. We're gonna go into the dreaded downward facing dog. Now this one, we're gonna focus on stretching the calf. So if you can't go fully into downward dog, just come up so you can get a comfortable stretch. And all we're gonna do from here is we're gonna work on walking the calf up and down. So we're gonna do almost kind of like a calf raise where we straighten one leg, and we press the heel into the ground, and I stretch over the calf and the hamstring, and then we go on to the other. So we're gonna do 10 on each side. And again, like this one, we just wanna focus on like a comfortable level. So if you need to be a little bit more up in this position to do the stretch comfortably, then that is absolutely fine. But obviously if you have the flexibility, just go as low as you feel comfortable. So I think we're about 10 on each side. We're just gonna pause and we're gonna hold it on one leg for about 30 seconds. Just breathing, embracing the stretch. The further forward we actually come, we'll reduce a bit the hamstring stretch, but we'll get more of that calf. And again, just like the piriformis, just like the sciatic nerve, this can limit your hamstring flexibility. So just get a nice stretch in the calf. And we're gonna swap sides. So left leg down, and then just come forward so you can feel a nice stretch on the calf. Just keep, remember to keep breathing nice and controlled during this one. Nice, just relax into it. Just wanna embrace the suck, embrace the stretch. All right, so I think we're done. Come out of that a little bit. We're just coming into an upward dog position. It's always a nice position just to chill out in. Take a little bit of a breather between before we jump into the rest of the hamstring stretching. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump back onto our knees. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring one leg out in front of us and we're gonna bring it straight. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do some more rocks into and out of our stretch. So we're gonna start in basically like a nice long lunge position. And having our hands to support us, all we're gonna do is we're gonna try and push our hips back, straighten the leg and pull the toes towards us. We're gonna try and not necessarily just fold as far forward as we can with this one. We're gonna try and stay nice and upright and focus on the lengthening of the hamstring. So we're gonna do 10 of these on each side. So push the hips back, lift the chest, pull the foot towards you, and then come into a bit of a lunge position. Pull the hips back, pull the toes back. Should feel like going from a nice stretch and then into a little bit of a stretch for the hip flexor. So two more, and on that last rep, we're just gonna pause for 10 seconds, and we're just gonna bring our hands as far forward as we comfortably can. We can also, if you wanna add some extra pain, bring a little bit of hand on that front leg, pull that foot back towards you, and we're just gonna hold this for 10 seconds. And then what we're gonna do, we're gonna come back, put our other leg back, Lunge position exactly the same again, just with the other foot in front. Push the hips back, pull the leg up, straighten the leg, and then come back. So the idea again, keep that chest high, push the belly button forward, and try not to round too much of the back. We're gonna focus on almost like a neutral back because we wanna think about turning those hips to stretch our hamstrings. If you wanna know more about that, I have a entire video on how to properly stretch your hamstrings with an anterior pelvic tilt. It's not the, the rule all the time, but it can certainly help you learn how to get a better stretch in your hamstrings. So I think we're on six here. Keep pulling back as far as you can. Each rep you should maybe just try to inch like a little bit deeper into that stretch. So two more, one more. We'll do an extra one for luck. So pull back into it, chest up. Use the other hand if you want to, to pull that foot back. And just breathe and sort of suffer. Lovely, right, so 
We're gonna take just a nice little 20 second rest. You can rest in whatever position you want. You don't have to rest in a squat position. And we're just gonna shake things out a little bit before we jump into the slightly more intense part of this routine. And the next bit is actually inspired by my friend and mentor, Emmett Lewis. So I'll put him in the description down below. We're just using some of his techniques from his mobility practice. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in a pike position. And what you're gonna to wanna to be able to do is you're gonna to want to have a surface in which you can press quite hard into. So for me, I can use the floor and I can press into. If you can't reach the floor, if you're kind of around here, you're gonna to need to have like a book that you can press into. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try and press into the ground as hard as we can. So I'm gonna try and think about pushing my hands in and I'm gonna squeeze my quads. I'm gonna push into the ground. I'm gonna hold this for five seconds. And then I'm gonna come out relax shake about a bit and then we're going to do this five times i'm going to press and try and go as deep as i can try to press my hands into the ground really 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 hard and then we're going to breathe out we go around you can come out of the stretch completely if you want to another one third rep press into the ground as hard as you can this shouldn't be easy this should be hard you should feel those quads working you should feel the core working pulling you deeper Last one, press into the ground, try to go as low down as you can. And shake it off, give yourself 10 seconds or so. And then what we're gonna come down is we're gonna come onto our feet. And what we're gonna do is we're coming to a little bit of a squat position. Place as much of your hand underneath your foot as you can. And then what we're gonna go from here is we're gonna go from a slight squat and we're just gonna press our legs back and pull ourselves into the stretch. Now, if this is too intense, you can do the same thing, holding on to as far down your leg as you can. So you can hold on to your ankles, extend your legs, straighten, hold for a few seconds, come back down to a squat. If you can do though, place your hands underneath your feet. So a bit of a squat position, extend the legs straight, pull yourself down deeper, hold for three seconds, and then come again. So I think that's about four reps. Maybe 10 of these until so on five. Six, seven. So when you come in, really give yourself a little help in hand. Pull yourself deeper. Last one. I'm going to hold it for an extra few seconds on the last one. Lovely. All right. So that is round number one, and we're just gonna repeat that one more time. So as I said, if you haven't got an object, get some books, get something you can really press into and feel like you're trying to put some force into that object. You should comfortably be able to put your palm into that object. Floor works great. If the floor is too easy, you can stand on an elevation. So stand on some books or stand on a step. So as I said, this isn't easy. Um, my heart rate's gone up a little bit. It should feel kind of intense. So, and just come into a little bit of an upward dog position. Just reverse the motion. So we're doing do a lot of spinal flexion, trying to stretch the hamstrings. Just spend a little bit of time opening up the hip flexors again before we jump back into another round of that hamstring stretch. So let's come back up to the middle. Let's start in this, as far as we can forward in our hamstrings. Press down into the ground. Five seconds as hard as you can. Really, really press max effort like how hard can i get myself down towards the ground and relax shake it out a bit maybe four more press down to the ground and relax three more to go press Last two. Final one. We do press as far as we can. And that's it. So we're just gonna do give ourselves 20 seconds rest before we jump into 
the final one, which is that squat to pike, or as close as we can to a squat position uh, into our pike. So again, if you grabbed your ankles last time, try to go a little bit further down your leg, or try to get more of your hand underneath your toes if you used to your toes last time. So same again, go down into a slight squat, Try to keep yourself as close as you can to your thighs, pull yourself deeper for a few seconds, and then come back out of it. Try and keep your stomach locked to your thighs. Pull, reach, and come back out. We've got another eight of these to do. Pull, straighten those legs fully. Don't have any bent legs, we don't want that. You wanna straighten those legs. Five. Six. Seven. Three more. for a few more seconds we can come out of it a little bit less force and just kind of finish with a bit of a passive stretch and that is a nice little quick to the point follow along hamstring flexibility routine so this is a good point now you could test your hamstring flexibility you could see how it compares to your before see how it feels now does it feel looser hopefully it should do it does take time to see that change it's not going to be overnight but if you stick to this routine maybe do it two three times a week or if you use the other routines i mentioned in this video you should have some good luck but that has been it for this week guys if you have any questions or just comments leave a comment in the comment section down below i'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this follow along you guys requested more follow along so i'm going to try and do some more if you just enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up button and support the channel right next to it. Is that subscribe button if you want to join the Bodyweight Warrior Tribe. Don't miss out on any more future follow along videos. But that has been it for this week, guys. I'll catch you in the next episode. Have a strong week and peace.